Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Dig! When last we left off, Lo had managed to figure out how to get to this particular area of the actual um, tomb complex, which has the body of a dead alien, preserved in a pyramid. We know how to unlock the actual pyramid, and we can also use the life crystals to revive the alien briefly. Unfortunately, despite the alien being non-hostile at the very least, we can't understand what the alien is actually saying. So when we try to communicate with Maggie about it, who has apparently uh, just got the uh, light bulb moment in understanding the alien's language, something happened. She was attacked by some form of creature, and now we've no idea what's going on. The first thing naturally to do would be to try and communicate with her. Maybe she's okay now. Maggie, come in. Come in, Maggie, where are you? I hope I can find her in time. I hope so too. Is Brink responding? Brink, come in, Brink. Great. He's decided to play hide and seek. Well, I don't have time to waste on children's games. We don't need to actually, um, communicate with Brink. We know where Brink actually is. Brink is, uh, further in this, uh, system over here. So let's go and, uh, find him and basically say that we have to go and rescue, uh, we have to go and rescue Maggie. We're not going to leave Maggie to potentially die at the hands of whatever it is that has um, basically attacked her. Let's go. Fortunately, that takes you straight up, which is very handy. Now, we know where Brink is. Brink is further along down here. So if we go to the cave interior... Oh, we can see him there. Maybe he's made some progress on his device. Maybe. What are you doing here, Lo? I don't want you here. Something happened to Maggie. She needs our help. Then go help her. What I'm doing here is important. Hey, if we felt that way about you, you'd still be dead. You're the tough guy, Lo. You're the hero. Go do your hero activities and let me do the science. Hmm. I don't think he's going to help us. Also, this thing seems to be a little bit more constructed than the last time we saw it. Also, here is a stash of crystals that I didn't notice before. What are you doing with all these light crystals? I told you to go away. There's nothing here that you're capable of understanding. Right, can we take a few? What do you think you're doing? Borrowing one? I appreciate your apparent concern. Really, I'm fine. But please, feel free to leave. Right. I think we really need Brink's help on this, though. But Brink is not going to be, um, persuaded away from whatever he's working on. Maybe he can be scared away from whatever he's working on, because, uh, these bat creatures are right here. And I know that Lo doesn't like them. Maybe Brink doesn't like them either. We could try and scare them just without anything. The bat things are up on the ceiling. What do I have that can reach clear up there? Well, we have a flashlight. That's what I was pointing out before. Maybe that'll do a trick. Come on, guys. Let's get a look at you. No! Go away! Well, I think that's a Brink suitably distracted. Let's get those crystals, shall we? Quickly, before he comes back. Handy shovel! Away! I can't use these two things together. Oh, that's disappointing. Let's just take them, then. 
You thief! Give those back! I will, Brink. After you help me find Maggie. I'm not going to waste one moment on such a meaningless task. Yes, you will, Brink. If you ever want these life crystals back. You're a miserable bully, Low. Typical military mind. Pushing other people around. Right. So follow me and do as you're told. Is that rational enough for you? Fair enough. We now have Brink with us. He's not at all happy to be with us. Brink. Maybe we could talk about whatever it is that tried to take, um, basically, uh, has taken Maggie. We don't actually know what's happened, so maybe it tried and Maggie ran away. Who knows? Maggie's in trouble. Then go help her. Hmm. Maggie's in trouble. I will miss Maggie a great deal. Let's talk about this dead creature. Brink, there's a dead alien sealed inside a crystal tomb. Did you bring me here to chat, Commander Lowe? Unless you have something pertinent to talk about, don't waste my time. I'm pretty sure that's important. Never mind. But let's keep going. We now have him with us. And we basically need to go and see if we can uh, find where this um, creature is. I presume it's nowhere near the actual museum spire itself where um, Maggie was. Let's see what we can find, shall we? I get the feeling we're not going to have Brink for very long. She's gone. Not a trace. Not a sign of struggle. Nothing. Hmm. Anything on the console? A control console. If this is a library, then this must be where you search and retrieve data. Hmm. So nothing here. At all. Nope, it would seem like there's nothing here. No clues. So we basically got to start searching. Hmm, well, this place is pretty small. There is one spire we've yet to go to, though. Hmm, there is one spire we've yet to go to. Let's see if we can uh, find where this creature is. I mean, we haven't tried... We're in the museum spa. It's not in the tomb spa. Closest ones are the planetarium and the map spa. Let's try the map spa, shall we? Let's try the map spa. Let's have a look. Any... Nope, no alien monsters here. Let's try the pit. Hmm. There's a chamber? And the opening that we uh, just came through. Let's try the chamber. There's a ledge. And not much else. There is the tram there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Is it in here? Is there anything further down here? It doesn't seem like the tram would be... Oh. Okay, I think I've found something. I think I've found something. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Let's go in. Maggie! Is that you? Are you alright? Oh. How can she be alright? She's bound up in that web. Well, I think we found the monster. This guy is big and nasty. He smells pretty bad, too. Hmm. And I don't think we can take on the monster as it is. I wonder why the monster hasn't eaten Maggie. Yet. That, that is a good question. She seems unhurt. There's a grate here. It looks like a grate sealing something off. It looks like a grate sealing something off. Let's see if we can talk to uh, Maggie. Rob. I'm not sure now is the important time to talk about all this. Maggie, I'll try to think of something to free you. Don't take too long. I think that thing likes me. Hmm. Brink seems to be very motivated to help me 
rescue him now that I have his crystals. It was very bright of you to think of that. What's your next move, friends? I don't know. Thanks. You know what? I have a really, really bad idea. Great. Uh, distract the monster? Kill the monster? Use your super life crystal level intelligence to find a way to overcome the monster? Unless we want to end up with Maggie next, we've got to get by this thing. The obvious plan is for one of us to distract him while the other one slips by. Maybe you are thinking better, right? You want to sneak or distract? I'll be the diversion. Come here, you phlegm, carapace, slime faced, mucus brain, furry legged abductor of luminously intelligent but pulchritudinous earth women. Lord, you idiot! Why are you standing there? I'm still trying to figure out what you said. Move your silly buttocks, you fool! Boston? Where are you going? I'm over here. Don't leave me. Hmm. Well, there's this area we haven't been to before. The full source. Hmm. Maybe that's where we're going. I hope so. Let's see what this beach is. Doesn't seem to be anything by the beach here. At all. Okay, there's nothing here. Now that you've had a nice scenic look at the beach, let's see if we can actually try and save Maggie, shall we? By going to the falls source here. There's a rock and a grate. Ooh! Ah! Does that great lead to where the spider? Water is pouring through that hole at a tremendous rate. Well, that worked. That definitely worked. I don't know if it did anything, but that worked, and I did not mean to do that at all. This rock isn't attached. It's just balanced here. And clearly I see the solution to this problem, which is the fact that we need to make sure that that stays like that. Let's push this rock. At this point, I'm ready to try any damn thing. Well, it worked. I don't know if that did anything useful. But hey, it worked. It didn't do anything useful, did it? We're about to find out, aren't we? We're about to find out. Where were you? This monster has me trapped. Boston? Where have you been? I've diverted some of the water from the falls. I thought some of it might flow through here and wash the monster away. Well, instead, the monster's got Brink trapped up there, and I'm still stuck down here. Hmm, well that didn't work at all. Well, it was worth a try, wasn't it? It was definitely worth a try. Then again, we could open the grate. The grate does seem to be... The grate does seem to be... Mostly open. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. But it's not actually getting through. I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. Hmm. Robbins. We can talk about the grate. I think that's important. What is that down there by you, Maggie? It looks like a grate sealing something off. It's a grate sealing something off. What are you doing, Boston? I think the water I diverted from the waterfall is flowing right to that grate. There should be a lot of pressure behind. I'll remember that if I need a bath. I think more importantly, we're going to need to open that grate. Thanks. Hmm. We 
need to open that grate. I think I need to talk to Brink to do it. Brink. Let's see if we can get that open. There's a grate down by Maggie. If you can lure the monster over toward it, then when Maggie unclogs the grate, the water I diverted will hit it like a fire hose. This is seriously your plan? Do you have a better one? Maggie, can you get the grate open? Has anybody thought of the fact that if it does spout water like a fire hose, I'm right here? That's a good point, Maggie. Hold on tight. How do I hold on tight when I'm unclogging a grate? That's why you get the big bucks. Do it, then. Just do it. It's only my life, anyway. Come on, you ponderous exoskeleton. You cocoon-eating lobster face, cave-dwelling arthropoidal elementary sphincter muscle. Maggie, you made it. How's my hair? You're worried about your... I was joking, Boston. You know, like you strong, manly types do when you just about get killed. Maggie's safe now. I satisfied our little deal. So give me my crystals and let me get back to work. Brink, it's time for us to work together on... I said give them to me! Take one more step closer, Maggie, and you'll wish you were back with that giant lobster. He sure is weird. Now what? I've been getting the feeling that the ghosts want us to help them. As if they were stuck and wanted out. Stuck how? Well, the library console seemed to indicate that they may have left this world for another. What if they want to come back, but can't? I don't know. How will we go about helping, assuming that's what they want, and they wouldn't need us when they got back? Beats me. I'm just interpreting. Hmm. Well, the plus side, we've managed to save Maggie. The downside is... We've most certainly lost, I think... Yeah, we've actually lost all of the crystals. We used to have crystals. They're gone now. They're gone now because Brink stole all of them. Got the element of surprise on low and basically stole them. Robins. We could talk about this, uh, dead creature now. When I called you before you were kidnapped, I was trying to tell you that it worked. I revived the alien. Was it angry? Glad? He didn't kill me, if that's what you mean. He talked to me, but I didn't understand anything he said. Hmm. Maggie, we've got to find a way to communicate with the alien inventor. I know, Boston. He's the only one who can answer our questions. He's also the only one who knows for sure how to get us home. That's a big presumption. Now that you can read the library inscriptions, can you make any sense out of this? It didn't even look like the same language to me before. But now I can see the relationship between this writing and the things I read in the library. What does it say? It seems to be talking about an important... thing. I don't know what. That was hidden. Any hints about where? On the other side of the hole. So that none may enter. Then it tells how to, um, pull back this part of entrance. Whatever that means. It's pretty vague. There are some things that man was not meant to understand. Yeah, but this one even woman is having a hard time with. Hmm. I never would have found out anything from the map room if there hadn't been all those engraved keys lying around. Almost as if they were left for us. Only intelligent beings would have been able to figure out how to use them. Maggie, that's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. I meant any being over the intellectual level of, say, a baboon. Oh, now you're making me blush. Now I think it is time Thanks. 
for us to try and figure out exactly where that tablet is referring to. Would you believe that we're actually not that far away from the actual end of the game? Yeah, we're actually getting pretty close. So, when we come back, folks, we've rescued Maggie from the strange... monster... thing, and lost all of our life crystals. We will need a few of them to talk to the, uh, alien that we found, but I'm sure we'll find more. So, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.